March 25, 2018, municipal councillors in Cameroon went to the poll for the second time to elect 70 senators for the upper house of assembly, an election that involves only municipal councillors and taking place only in divisional headquarters. In Furi Division of the Littoral Region, 254 councillors from all the six councils assembled at Alfred Seca College in Daido to carry out their civic duty, a duty which is incumbent on them as councillors. Discharging this duty, these councillors felt quite accomplished. There's no disorder. We have two main pools here in Douala, A and B. And um, all the councillors, both the one of the CPDM and the opposition councillors, they have cast their vote without any difficulty, each free. I'm very proud of today. And we told the future senators to help us, to help the head of state, so that uh, the councils can rule by themselves. An exercise that saw the presence of 12 groups of national and international observers to testify the free and fair nature of the exercise. The, everything is moving well. As a observateur in UNDH, National Organization of Human Rights, I find everything going fairly. Everything is moving well without any inconveniences. Councillors were unanimously satisfied with the level of preparedness in terms of logistics and personnel put in place by ELECAM. Things are moving smoothly. We want to express our sincere appreciation to ELECAM for all the organization. The campaign has been going on smoothly with a lot of discipline. It's free. And you have seen that we have just performed our duty, we have just cast our vote. I'm satisfied because there is no main complaint, no even complaint. And uh, the vote has going well. Things are moving well at this time, point in time. And uh, I'll be reassured by the LECAM uh, official that uh, they have mastered all the, the process till now. A number of them prayed that such level of maturity by the elections governing body in Cameroon should be perceived in subsequent elections. As senators are being elected, this is a point credited to Cameroon's move towards a decentralization process, a move which saw the creation of a new ministry in charge of decentralization. To many councillors, their participation in these senatorial elections is equally their contribution to assist the head of state in making Cameroon a more democratic country. I feel that uh, we have to help the President of the Republic who put up this, you call it what, this chamber, this institution of the Senate, and we saw during the last uh, uh, government, there's a Ministry of Decentralization and Local Development. It shows that the Head of State uh, wants to push the decentralization. Security was well assured with the presence of police officers to forestall any uncomfortable situation that could arise. It should be noted that a complete list of senators, 100 of them, will be made known when the head of state will appoint 30 others to join the 70 elected this March 25th.